but... What's up guys, the Hackspot here, and in a previous video, I showed you guys some tips and tricks that you did not know existed on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys five more tricks that you may not know. This video is sponsored by Meze Headphones. If you guys do want premium headphones that have superior sound quality, then definitely check out Meze. Right here, I have the brand new 99 Neo Classic Series headphones that are in this nice black and silver color scheme. They sound great. They do need a little bit of break in time but they just look good sound good and feel very high quality now they also have earphones so over here again they're super classy they have this wood finish so they even sound even better so that's pretty cool too as along with many other headphones and earphones i'm not just saying this because i sponsored this video but the meze headphones i currently have which are right here i have been using them for quite some time and they have been my favorite pair of headphones i've ever used so guys check them out link in the description meze headphones and a huge thanks to them for sponsoring Sponsoring this video. All right, so hopefully you do not know any of these, but if you do, I'm sorry, but they are so cool. So the first one is getting blank icons on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch very easily. And all you have to do is first enable reachability. So if you don't already have it enabled, go into settings, then general, and over here, go to accessibility and then reachability, which should be right there. Go and enable if you don't already have it. And now on your device, I have the iPhone 10. So in order for me to activate, I just swipe down right here. There we go, now reachability is activated. So what you wanna do now is from this side over here, go ahead, what, okay, stay there, okay. Tap and hold, and on an icon, right, and we'll just wiggle mode, go ahead and drag it on top of another icon, and put it in that folder. Now exit battle, go over here, and you guys will see now it's blank, but if I go ahead and just swipe over like this, you guys can see, now it is back over there too, so we have Instagram right there, and into this folder, so to get rid of it from here, all we do is tap and hold in regular mode, and let's move it over to another blank spot. So it's gonna move it over to the side, and there we go, it's just gonna swipe up to exit out wiggle mode, and now we have a blank icon. So you can get some really cool designs on your iPhone, and really impress your friends with with this i personally think it's really cool a glitch in ios 11 but it's fun to play around with and get some really cool looks on your device now bringing it back to normal is very simple you don't even need to reboot your device all you do is just go in and put an icon back over there so again put on a mogul mode and just go ahead and put it back and there we go all right now this next trick i'm gonna be showing you guys is something that i think advanced users probably know you most likely know this if you are an advanced user but anyways if you go in and use a calculator app type of something you accidentally put in a wrong number you don't have to go out and clear the whole thing you do not have to do that instead all you have to do is just swipe right here and look at that it get rid of, gets rid of one number at a time so it can go and just input what he actually wanted to so if you're doing a bunch of calculations you do have to restart the entire calculation all over again which can be super annoying simply swipe left over here boom 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 so easy this next trick is for getting custom vibrations so you can set this for individual people too so if your phone vibrates a certain way you know who's calling or you can just use this forever you want you can just get a different pattern and it feels a lot better <clears throat> And anyways, what you want to do for this is go and open up the settings application. Once open, head over to sounds and haptics. And once over here in the settings, you want to go ahead and tap on ringtone. And over here at the very top, you guys can see we have vibration. Now at the very bottom, you guys can see under custom that we have create new vibration. So this is pretty cool. Now, of course, you do have a select view that you can choose from there, but you can create your own one too. So go ahead and tap right here. And now all you got to do is tap on the screen how you want the vibrations to appear. So for example, if I want it like this, I want it to vibrate vibrate continuously oh and by the way this feels really cool you can just go to play around with the taptic engine on the iphone and it just feels really nice so you can get some cool vibrations going record it and once done hit done or save on the top right name it whatever you want and hit save and there we go now i have my custom vibration you have a custom ringtone why not also have a custom vibration and again you can set this to multiple people or individual people so you guys know who's calling straight when your phone's right in your pocket you don't have to take your phone out you just feel the vibration and you know or you can just have this vibration appear everywhere on your device and i think it feels really cool a lot of fun to play around with now let's say you want to be a little bit creepy and take a photo or record a video without anyone knowing so you can't do that with a default camera app because they're like hey let me see your phone you're like oh shoot i'm a camera open okay they could see it so there's this very secret app i'll have a link down below inside the description it's called the incognito app and anyways let's go to open this up here's what it looks like it looks like you're texting right but you're actually about to record a video or take a photo secretly i know it's super creepy right uh but anyways how this works is simply you just go in and pretend like you're texting so if you want to take a photo all you do is type in photo and hit send 
And there you go. It'll act like someone is texting you back if you don't have any friends like me. And there you go. And what you want to do now is go over to your photos app and you guys will see that photo was taken. How crazy is that? So we're going to go ahead and do a video too now. So I'm going to go back into the incognito app and let's do a video. So for video, all you do is type in record instead of photos. So record and again, hit send. And there you go, it'll start recording. Now the way you guys will know it's actually recording or taking a photo is if someone texts you back. If no one texts you back, then that means it's not working, it's not you know, it's misspelled or something like that. So if we go back over here, you guys can see, now it did record a video. So again, for a video, you just type in record. So let me do that again to start recording. And again, make sure you type it in right, otherwise it will not work. And by the way, here's what happens if you type in something wrong. So you hit send and nothing happens, you guys can see that. So that basically means I typed it in wrong. It's not recording. There's your confirmation. Again, same thing happens for photo two. But again, hit back to record. I'm going to hit send. And now we should get a text back just like that after a few seconds with the bubble icon. And then you will know you're recording. So now we're recording. So pretty simple. And to stop recording, you can simply just X out the app. And now let's go to the photos, photos app if I could speak. And there we go. There's our new video. So you got to tap on it. Play it, and you guys can see. Let me turn the volume up. After a few seconds with the bubble icon. I know, right? Super creepy. Now, in order to stop recording, you can also just type in record again, and it will stop recording. And if you type in photo, it will take a photo. Super sneaky, super creepy. Look at this rhyme, just be wasting my time. All right, but anyways, this last trick I'm going to be showing you guys, the fifth one, is announcing calls. So every time someone calls you, it'll be like, call from blah, blah, blah. This is a really handy feature that I, know, I wish I knew about before because it's just super handy. So open up settings again, head over to the phone app so our phone settings so it should be down over here top right there and over here announce calls you can set this to when you have your headphones in or if you have your headphones in car or bluetooth something like that always so i like to set it to always ever since i found out about this feature because it's so useful knowing who's calling you when your phone is away somewhere else and it's sitting on a different counter something like that somewhere far away and you want to know who's calling you before you run over there and pick up your phone i'm going to go ahead and give my phone a call so you guys can see what happens so you guys will see that will announce a call so Mosin, phase nug. Oh, right away, it tells me who it is. You don't have to wait for like a second ring. It just immediately tells you who it is. So that is pretty cool. So that's a feature that many people do not use. Having the ability to announce the calls from your phone so you guys know who it is before actually just going over, looking at it, and then determining if you want to pick it up. And all right, guys. So there you have your five tips and tricks for your iPhone that you may have not known. Again, plug, get yourself some Meze headphones. Link will be down below in the description. Treat yourself to this present and unbox it. Enjoy the experience of this high quality sound. I'm not joking when I say that these are my favorite pair of headphones that I ever use. They're just fantastic. Anyways, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Don't let anything put you down and peace out.